Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last few episodes, we have started learning about Angular components. We also learned, learned about Angular component lifecycle in the previous episode. Today, we will talk about component communication. This is a series where we are continuing to learn step by step about Angular components. Some of these topics are really advanced and not really to be introduced or to be practiced at this stage of learning in Angular. But it makes sense that you learn this in continuity of Angular components. That's why I'm introducing it now. But we will deep dive again into because these topics are something that once you start working on a real time application, you will find yourself using all of this kind of communication between components, parent child relationships, all all of that on a day to day basis in a real time project. So it's really something that you will keep continuing to use every day. But I'm introducing it today. We will keep building on it as we start our real time application. Let's get started. This is part 15 of Angular 10 full tutorial series for beginners. All right, so uh, I'm planning around 100 tutorials for you in this series. So make sure you check out the description box below. That's where you'll get the code notes and all the details. All right, so so far in the playlist, we have covered all these topics that you're seeing on your screen, around 14 topics that we have covered so far. If you see the last three episodes are really interlinked because they're all related to Angular components. Uh, so make sure that you have seen the previous episode so you have continuity in your learning. All right, so today we'll learn about component communication in Angular. Uh, how does it work and wh what are the different communications mode that happens between component, right? Uh, so let's get started um, and for that we need to obviously make some notes for in this episode like I do for every episode. Uh, make sure that you get all of these notes um, in the description box below as well as I'll share it in the GitHub. All right. Let's get started. So today's focus is Angular component or I would say communication cation between various Angular components. Right. That's the topic and this is episode number 15. Alrighty, so let's get started. So, so far, let's just step back, take it easy, slow. And you see all of this component so far, we have created module, we have created the components inside it, right? Add, contact, delete, contact. All of these are components inside component contacts module, right? So now we haven't seen a use case where we may need something like a parent child relationship, right? Now let's talk about this example and expand it a little bit. So we have contacts, which is a module, right? Now we are saying we have add contact, right? And we have edit contact and we have a delete and all of that, right? So let's say you have all of this um, various components. But what happens if I have a use case something like this? I will say that I need something like contact grid, right? Or I would say um, contact home, right? Page or listing, right? Contact listing. So I have a page which is contact listing. This is a component, right? This will be a component. And what I'm saying is I want some components inside this component, right? Like for example, in real time applications, you will see, you'll find yourself having a grid, right? A tabular format where you'll list down all the contacts. And then you will also have something like contact tools. Now this is also a component, right? So these two are components. Now these two are components. Or if you look into the hierarchy, we can say this is as parent component, this as child component. Right. So now we can say that this particular parent component has two child inside it. Now in the tools, again, I can say that, you know, download PDF is another component. I can say download Excel is another yet another component. So this is again sub child component, right, which is parent child sub child. Right. So you see the hierarchy, right? So basically what we are saying here is that components are hierarchical, right? Hierarchical, which means there is a parent child relationship, right? Which means there is parent 
child relationship now you can have any kind of relationships you have parent one you have child one child two and you can also have grand sub child one and so on and so forth right so and now this is important to understand for two reasons one there is communication right communication that needs to happen uh, between these components these components and the other use case is I have another parent totally unrelated to this like something like under leads right now let's say there is one more totally unrelated component which is under leads module now here I'm saying add lead or I can say again leads listing again this is yet another parent component right of under this module now see this is a component inside this module this is a component which is inside the leads module which are totally unrelated right these two are related these three are related parent child sub child but I'm saying there is one more altogether totally different right so here I'm saying parent two, child one parent two, child one right these two are totally unrelated so you need co communication between the related components now what are the related components if you say you'll have parent you'll have child so you'll say communication from parent to child or then you will say from child to parent back see right so this is a communication from which happens from parent component to child components right and then you have from child components to parent components back right this is one way two way journey right between components so this is one type of type of communication the other type of communication is between totally unrelated components right here there is a relationship which is parent child but here there is no relationship between this child and this child because this they do belong to two different parents right so if you see here again the example that I'm giving contacts and leads right so contact components have no relationship with parent components or leads modules right so they are totally unrelated here the component one will communicate to component two but via something called services right so the communication between these happen using something called services we'll learn about that slowly when we introduce it today's topic like I said understand the behaviorality right so now first let's create a use case for that right so I'm going to go into the my leads so if you see I am inside the app folder I'm going into leads folder and I am in the leads folder now so let's create a component ng component and here I'm saying leads listings right so this is a component which will have some child parent child components right so let's create that situation first and I'll explain you the communication between them all right so let's give it one quick minute ng component ng generate component component name it leads hyphen listing right so it will create a component inside the leads all right it's taking a little while please bear with me in the win in the meanwhile please don't forget to hit the like comment subscribe and share my channel thank you so much all right so still building okay so it has now created the component and as usual it has created four files for the component and updated the leads module file right so it's it has added a entry in it now I'm saying I want the leads component to have child components so I will go into the leads listing and I'm going to run a command again ng generate component and I'm saying leads grid right so this is where I will list all my leads right so this is leads management system so now see you see it has created a leads listing 
leads grid inside leads listing now I want one more which is what I would say leads tools right tools is nothing but inside that I will have options for download Excel PDF right so yet again I will go to leads tools and now I will say leads tools and then I'm going to say generate component leads uh, I would say download PDF and then I will say download Excel beautiful so now it's actually shaping up like how a real project would uh, be architect right so let's look into it a little bit now carefully now let's list down this particular use case with an example that we just did so we have our leads module now inside that we created leads listing right inside that we have a child component called leads grid right and then we have leads tools which is nothing but which will have yet another two components where we will say download excel and we are saying download pdf so you see this is how real time um, arc you'll architect your components or the modules page by page right so there is a page which says leads listing now it has leads grid and then it has leads tools leads tool will have internally again yet two components which are download PDF download Excel right so this is how the relationship between the parent child components is now the communication between um, component parent and child let me explain that to you I will not dig into deep today because that's not the focus these topics will be introduced to you as part of your learning uh, the directives so we will learn it there and services but understand that whenever we say parent to child communication we will use an in at the rate input decorator right directive so at the rate input is the directive we'll use for sending data from parent to child and from child to parent is nothing but its output directive so what this means is that input so this child will receive an input from the parent right so that's what input directive means now whenever child wants to send some data to parent will use output directive right so those are the two main important uh, directives to communicate between parent and child child and parent right then like I said the other use case is communication between totally unrelated components right now if these two com components want to communicate they will co communicate via services now what are services why are they used how are they used we we'll learn when we reach services for now for today your understanding should be that services is a common reusable right reusable piece of piece of functionality shared between different different components right as simple as that for now today your understanding or your knowledge should be that what is a service it's nothing but it's a simple common reusable piece of functionality shared between different components right so now there would be lot this is an important topic I have, I'm covering because mostly in interviews you'll be asked these questions right how does the communication happen between different angular components how can you send data from parent to child right how can you send the data from child to parent right and then how do you communicate between different components right so this is for your understanding because without which you will not be able to utilize or write good code or functionality for that matter right so have a thought on this understand the concept understand how it, the communication happen we will revisit this topic again once again when we have good understanding of templates directives and data binding right so we are going to revisit this topic again just like life cycle they're all related they're not separate so when we we and we our learning thing happens we have to do it incremental right so stay tuned to it get as much as knowledge stay with me I will cover each and every topic for you and make you expert in angular all right so in the next episode I will cover templates in angular components again we'll focus a lot about components in this particular and I'm sure you'll master in no time 
stay tuned in this channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much i look forward to you joining in the next episode where we cover templates in angular components